Hey guys, you wondering how to mount a European mount up to the wall? I'm gonna show you here today in a quick easy video. Uh, to explain this guy, um, I found this whenever I was a young guy and, uh, and I was probably about 12 years old, maybe 13. And the best idea I had at the time was to grab a couple strings around the eye sockets and hang it up uh, on the wall like that. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of other ways to do it. Uh, here's, but I'm gonna show you a quick trick of how I do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the sink and just kind of wash it up a little bit because it's just been kind of sitting out in the garage and and uh, for years and years. I just I've never gotten rid of it, but got a plan to hang it up in the wall. The wife let me uh, put it in the house, so. I'm going to uh, go ahead and wash it up a little bit and do the mount process and get that doll done. I thought you guys would like to see how I like to do it, so let's get her started. So if you didn't, if you didn't really see it in the last clip, this is what I was talking about, the strings that I, I tied around the eye sockets and uh, uh, just kind of just kind of put it together. but. It had its, adva its advantages and disadvantages, but with that said, it, uh, it worked for the time being. Like I said, I haven't ever really had it inside or anything, just kind of had it out in my garage. But um, the wife said, yeah, I'll let you put that up on the wall, um, and I'll show, you, I'll show you where that sets. Maybe give you an idea of how to, how to dress up a European mount. But so uh, I, I uh, that's the plan. I'm gonna run a piece of wire through through either this hole down here. There's a hole that goes straight through down there, or or this hole, that hole right there. Thinking about going through that hole down there and seeing which one fits better. Uh, I'll probably try the bottom one first, and if it fits better, then that's the one I'll do. And put a little bit of Dom soap in there. Woo! I'll put my school mount in there. I'm just using this soft bristle brush, uh, just kind of get some extra dirt off and everything. I'm not worried about bleaching this, it, nothing like that. I'm, I'm just simply just kind of cleaning it up, making it, trying to make it look a little better. Um, I kind of like more of the natural rustic look personally. Um, I mean, I know bleaching it's a pretty popular thing, but uh, I feel like it looks more realistic. You know, what? once you bleach it and everything, it kind of kind of seems a little fake if you will so I'm not too worried about bleaching it um, just just simply kind of cleaning it up and and uh, I've had this thing for like 20 years and I never did anything with it except just try to hang it up on the wall here and there but you know it's it's seen uh, better days um, I used to I used to have it hung up in the house whenever I was a kid in my bedroom and um, the nose, it, it was a full nose and everything, but uh, it would fall off, it would fall off when my, in my bedroom hit the ground and like a piece of nose would fall off all the time. And um, I don't know, me and this skull go uh, way back, so, so I'm kind of excited to get it out on display a little bit, but uh, uh, that's, that's pretty much the story of that. But yeah, it's starting to clean up really nice. And uh, I'll probably be done here pretty soon, kind of let it dry out, and then we'll get that wire through the back of the skull and hang her up. Alright guys, we're all cleaned up, all ready to go. Bend the wire. Kind of put a little hook in it like that, and then just try to feed her through. Sometimes 
does you might have to put a little more of a bend than should get it. We got it. There we go. I'll probably bend her up like yeah. So that's the European mount. I think it looks pretty good up there. Um, uh, it's pretty easy to mount up there. So, you know, maybe give you an idea. Maybe this is a good way to talk your wife into letting, letting you put your mounts inside the, the house. Uh, this just happened to work out. My wife uh, agreed to it and, and here we are. So I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and also uh, um, look out for other videos and we'll see you again next time. Thank you